If you have a website and you want to interact with your public, what you need is a mobile application. And I'm going to give you the hookup today on Technology Questions Answered. Today I'm going to explain how to make your very own mobile application with absolutely no programming and for the most part it will be free. Free of programming, free of cost and free to use for you and your audience. But I'm going to go through an order that will help you make the best possible application and I'll try to make this as painless as possible. So let's start off with the most important detail in history. Content, content, content. No, I don't have a stuttering issue. It is absolutely the same thing as in public. Location, location, location. Content, content, content is the most important detail in your applications on websites anywhere on the internet. It is what you want. Make sure you have it. And just to explain it to you, if you're a YouTube user, and you make videos or you have daily blogs, journals, you make daily articles and reviews or you are a photographer, filmographer, basically anything along that context, you got plenty of content. Who doesn't have content? You, the small website with absolutely no amount of pages. If you've got a cover page that's less than three inches thick and you have no more than that page and the content page, you don't have content. Start making some. You need content for people to actually continue coming back. So content is the most important thing. Now, just as important as content is delivery of content. So you're gonna need an RSS feed. Uh, this is generated automatically by Facebook, Twitter, content management systems like, um, let's see, I use Cute News, but uh, most people tend to use WordPress or uh, I think it's Blogger or whatever. Uh, yeah, those are generated automatically unless you're doing your website manually, in which case you need to get somebody to help you make that if you don't know already how to make an RSS feed. If you do, make one right now. If you don't, get a buddy who knows and ask them to teach you at the same time. Now, what you've been waiting for, what do I do to make this application? Easy. Mobile.conduit.com you'll be able to add the website address to the cover of the website so that you can actually start making your application right now and register at exactly the same time. Don't rush anything, not like we try to do with these videos on YouTube. Um, you have all the time in the world. Take your time, make sure you follow a few things, uh, suggestions that I give you, okay? Um, and also, make sure you test your application on mobile devices. They do give you an address that brings you to an HTML5 version which works on all mobile devices. Look at it, play with it, see what you can do. Make sure that you choose the correct colors and color screen. It needs to be very easily read. So a lot of clearly visible contrasting colors. This is important for quality assurance of your device, you do have to pass those departments if you have any intention of going into app markets. So besides that part, just make sure it's very easy to read. It is very, very important. Also, you should never have any, especially if you're gonna put it in an app market, okay? You should never have any photos depicting violence, sexual acts, or nudity. Your content should correspond to standard language restrictions like no swearing or vulgar language. And you shouldn't have anything really illegal in there. You can't be stealing other people's content, plagiarizing videos from other artists. Um, if you have fan pages, it's very dangerous to start posting videos of other artists in there. So if it doesn't belong to you and you didn't create it, this is the easiest way to prevent any stuff. And YouTube you does use the same principle. If it doesn't belong you, to you and you didn't create it, don't put it inside. Otherwise, you may cause an issue and they're very expensive. So just make sure that you use your own content and that you do not step over somebody else's copyright. So 
just make sure you comply to normal quality assurance requirements. There is a public that you won't be able to attain if you don't. Now, once you've completed the application, you will need to create screenshots for your application. And this is easy with people that, with, that already have mobile phones and tablets. But let's take the iPhone and iPad. That is the most common. Most people that you know in the click should have one of these two devices. So what you do is you take the iPad, take the iPhone, go to the screen, tap the power and home button at the same time, it'll take a shot. Go to all the pages of your application and click off a few shots. That way you've get a general idea of what your mobile application looks like. These you will upload to the Conduit Marketing Info page. Then you need to make an icon. Conduit gives you the size. And especially if you're intent on making a tablet version at the same time, the, by the way, they're bundled in the same app. Um, that way you don't have two specific files, you have one specific file. Uh, this requires that you make two different sizes of pages. The easiest to do with, to be basic, hold on. The easiest way to make your pages is to create the bigger one first and then shrink it down for the small one so you don't get any loss of quality. And make sure that the text is big enough so that when you shrink it down, people can still read it. So that is a hint at making your loading screens. And please do not put in the word loading. We know that already. So the applications at this point, once all your images are submitted, can now generate a marketing page that is hosted by Conduit and for all technical purposes, you are now finished making your application. Publish it all over the place, all over your uh, all over your websites, your YouTube channels, Facebook, Twitter. Spray paint it all over the walls. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Just make sure people know it's there. Okay? You know what I do? I make it that easy. Okay? I have business cards. Hold on. Okay. Here's the thing, okay? I have a business card. This business card, by the way, I do use very specific programming, on the side has the address to my website. How do I get people to go to my website? Well, Conduit does give you this option, okay? You can have it a small script, auto-detect the mobile device, and send the person voluntarily to the mobile website, and the mobile website will ask them, do you want me to install to your, well, well, we'll call it for all intensive purposes, the home screen. And then the person who has this HTML5 version of your website now has the application on their device. You didn't do anything more. You just continue saying, this is my business card, go to this place. Oh, by the way, I got this nice HTML5 version of my website. Just click OK. It'll bring you to there. You can put it on your home screen. You can follow along all the time. The other way is to have a dedicated address, which I also do. It is, mine is actually M as in mobile. By the way, it is common to write it this way. Like at Facebook, they do the same thing. So like I said, m.zaxis.net. They'll bring you straight to my mobile website. No, that crazy programming. Uh, and you hit it straight to the right place. Now, to get into the app markets, this is what most people want. It is no longer free at this point, okay? Just so you understand. Everything before this point of this video was free. As of what we call my eight minute, 30 second mark on my time code here, uh, it's no longer free. Uh, application markets you can access right now in Conduit and there are more to come like Windows Phone 7 and um, Blackberry. I haven't checked those yet, I have to, um, yeah. Besides those two, the ones that you can actually connect to right now are Android, iOS, Nokia, and Samsung, okay? Apple's iOS is $99 a year, okay? Um, yeah, probably don't really want that one unless you really want those 300 million user accounts in North America. Besides that, uh, you have Android, that's $25 single payments, by the way, I just bought mine. Um, Avi, is one euro so what is that like a dollar fifty two dollars canadian and actually bata is free bata is part of samsung they're actually free 
and I actually experimented with the Nokia Avi environment for the last month. No advertising, so just to understand the dynamics of the culture in there. And uh, Avi is Europe and Asia. No advertising. It is not my normal marketplace. I do these videos, by the way, people, and I will explain it more in my live show today. Uh, for my local clients, uh, for those of you that are not part of my local clients, you're getting information I give them. I actually make these videos to help them out. So, being that Asia and Europe are not my normal, normal markets for my business, um, I found it strange that I got 1,400 downloads in a month. So, yeah, uh, yay, 1,400 downloads for someone who did absolutely no advertising. By the way, really, really, really stupid and dangerous because that almost guarantees that you get zero downloads if you're not careful. Uh, besides that, you can experiment all you want. If you've got $150 to burn and another $99 a year to burn and you don't really care or you get everything in cash and you, your website pays out for you one way or another, uh, go ahead, have fun. If you get into the Apple iOS market, you get 300 million easy users that you can potentially access. I'm not saying you're going to, but you have that many. That is why my podcast started on iTunes. Um, then you have Android, which is international and how do we say uh, a lot more open? It's easier to get into that market than it is Apple and you can get a lot away with a lot more in Android than you can in Apple and you can also make your application regardless of the marketplace. So besides that, don't really worry about them and hey, if you want to advertise the fact that you're in Android, you're in Apple, you're in Samsung, you're in Nokia and in the future you'll be able to be on Windows Phone 7 and on BlackBerry, hey, you're gonna get a lot more users entertained with your content. So advertising this of your application will be absolutely important. So they give you QR codes that you can put on your website, addresses that you can use. You always have the most greatest tools, Facebook and Twitter, and the best advice that I'll ever be able to give to all of you when it comes to anything is do not convince users to use your service, use theirs. That way, be, that helps people actually interact with you. So if everybody's on Facebook today, Facebook. If somebody's on some other news website in two months and you start in two months, go there. Don't go to Facebook and try to convince people to come back, it ain't gonna work. So anyway, Advertising is key. Make sure you go to where the users are, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time advertising. Add a section on your website or add a link, especially if you have a YouTube channel, you might wanna just add the link uh, so that the people can connect to your application directly. Continue putting out the word. Uh, make sure that they visit your application or that there is some way to get them to your application every time they visit your website. Like I said, mine is m.zaxis.net. I created the address specifically for that traffic. Excuse me. That is basically something I do very well. Uh, next three weeks are gonna entertain some of you. Everybody likes money, and everybody wants to know how to make money on the internet. I'm gonna have three episodes. First is generating revenue on your website. Second is generating revenue on your podcast. And the last is generating revenue from your application. I'm going to explain all three. Now, these are topics that will not necessarily get you rich if you don't advertise correctly your websites, applications, or podcasts. But you know, you might be able to pay your server costs every year. So, if you have any questions, comments, stories, or suggestions, if you want to join our weekly newsletter, which we now do weekly, by the way, or want to see the show notes or find other ways to subscribe to my weekly show, head over to www.zaxis.net to interact with the show, ask.zaxis.net. If you want to chat live with me, it's going to be live.zaxis.net. This has been your technology questions answered. Stay safe and online. Have an absolutely great day.